I've never been able to refuse your wife anything. You're a funny man. Huh? A very funny man. Ned Stark's known as the Lord of Winterfell, which is the northern section of the Seven Kingdoms. He's a loyal man, a very decisive man, especially loyal towards the king and, uh, and, and, and his family. And his wife, Catelyn, and uh, children. Don't get into trouble. They have a very strong relationship. <laughs> which one of you was a marksman at ten? So they're all right, you know, they're quite, uh, they're quite settled. But there's always a tension when Jon Snow is around because he's my bastard son. I love the boy, but I can't show him too much emotion in front of my wife because she feels very resentful. That's their way of life. And uh, all of a sudden it's changed by this request from the king. I need you, Ned. We were meant to rule together. The king is the only man I can trust. He's more like a brother than his own brothers were. You're too fat for your armor. Is that how you speak to your king? And I trust him, and that's why I decided to become this right-hand man. It's quite heart-wrenching for Ned to leave his family. I have no choice. That's what men always say when honor calls. He loves his wife very dearly. Uh, he needs her. That's why he feels unsettled about leaving her behind. Half of the family stay in Winterfell and half of the family go down to King's Landing. Very disturbing kind of world, pit of snakes really, where these very corrupt people are gaining more and more power. You're speaking of murdering a child. Speak sense to this honorable fool. You can't just be honest and honorable in this society. It just doesn't work. And he'd rather die than lose his honor, and his loyalty, and his sense of duty.